guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial. Today we're going to be looking into compounding character speeds, which is sort of like Sonic Adventure style. So Alpha Develop has this issue that he's trying to resolve. He's got a 3D game and he needs the character speed to increase the longer the character runs, exactly like the old school Sonic Adventure game. And uh, we need to cap it out at a maximum speed and probably a minimum speed too, just in case. Um, and obviously this will be in Blueprint. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got a brand new blank third person starter project. Um, this is actually relatively simple, or can be. Um, so we will take the simple method. So open up the third person character, or your character if you have a separate one. And in the third person character starter project, if you go to edit project settings, go to input, and open up axis mappings. We already have a move forward axis mapping. And basically what this does is when you press W, it'll set the axis value parameter right here to 1 or if you press S it will set it to negative 0 so if it's positive 1 we know we're moving forward if it's negative 1 we know we're moving back this also supports gamepad up and down arrow keys and a motion controller thumbstick so let's go ahead and get started what we're going to need first will be some variables so create a new variable called minimum, uh, we're going to call this minimum uh, movement speed of type weight. Uh, it'll be a private, create an additional variable called maximum movement speed. This will also be a float and we'll go to make that private as well. And we will also create a third one called default movement speed of type float and private. Compile that and I will save and compile all of these. So every time we compile, it will automatically save the blueprint. So the next thing we need to do is create a function that will calculate our multiplied speed. So create a new function and let's go ahead and call that calculate movement speed. And we'll make that private as well. And uh, we will make it appear. So compile, save. And we need one more variable. Uh, sprint multiplier float, private, and let's go ahead and set these to default values. So for our default movement speed, we will do 600. For the maximum movement speed, we'll do 2000. Uh, minimum movement speed, we'll go ahead and do, let's just do negative 2000. Sorry, for the minimum speed, we will do 600. Uh, sprint multiplier, let's just do 2.2. Compile, save. Open up calculate movement speed. And in this calculate movement speed, what we want to do is we want to get a reference to the character movement. And then we want to get its property called max walk speed. to take this value which defaults to 600 I believe and we want to add it to a float and then we want to grab the sprint multiplier so we're adding the max walk speed to the sprint multiplier and then we want to take the result of that and clamp that and clamp 
up it to the minimum and the maximum. So we'll keep going. That's all we're doing. Let's bring that up. Then we need to return the Newton with the speed. That's it for this function, pretty simple function. So now what we need to do, we need to add in some, we need, basically we need to intercept this uh, add Newton with input call that's already here. So scale value, we'll keep that the, the same, we won't uh, change that because that just tells the engine when it adds Newton at speed, if it should reverse the direction or or uh, move it forward, and that pivots off negative one and one. Um, so we'll keep that in for a little bit. So now what we need to do is if there's no if W or S is not pressed, the value will be zero. If W is pressed, it will be one. If S is pressed, it'll be negative one. So what we need to do is we need to check if this value is equal to zero. If it isn't, hold down B, left click. If it isn't, we need to call the character get character movement again. And we need to call set max clock speed. And we need to set it to the default movement speed. So bring this in here. Bring this up. Okay. So if there's no key pressed, we reset the max clock speed to its default. Otherwise, if you press and hold W and we increase the speed, when you let go and you press W again, it'll start at the last speed. So the final step is to actually set the max speed to our calculated movement speed. So click and drag your pure calculate movement speed function. We need another reference to character movement. This time we're going to call it set max clock speed and set clock speed to our movement speed here. Connect up the execution pins. Let's move this around a little bit. And just like that. Okay. That should be it. So let's go ahead and test this. So if I hold down W, it should start to speed up. There we go. Just speeding up. And if I let go, it reset. And if I hold down S to go backward, this will also speed up. So to make it more noticeable, you can adjust the sprint multiplier, let's set this to 10, and that'll increase our speed a lot quicker. And we can also increase the maximum, so let's set that to 5,000, uh, 50,000, 5,000, okay, file save, run, and I am blazing fast now. down S and that's how you make a sonic style movement speed pretty 
recycled. So, yeah, enjoy.